Pepe, my name is Fanny Franco and this is The Salt. Karibu katika channel at Pen Wakabisa ya Busa Kelo TV. Leo tumekuletia mada nyingine very hot and sweet. Unachotakio kufanya ni kusubscribe, turn on notification, like, na comment, alafu sit, relax and enjoy. Mada ya leo inahusu na... Mausiano, kama kawaida, sisi ni vijana, so we talk relationship. Lengo la mahusiano, ni nini lengo la mahusiano, ni, li, ni nini. Along with that, kuna subtopic ambayo inausiana na hapo wapo, mwana mke anataka nini kwa mwanaume na mwanaume anataka nini kwa mwanamke generally lengo la mahusiano ni nini niko na wageni wangu kama kawaida kabisa beautiful ready life here and handsome dudes around me yo what's your name call me prince lee aisha hassan name's davis prefer me drix drix charles makarim suya karibu Okay, so I will give the honor to open this session to the beautiful, beautiful lady right here, Aisha Hassan. Okay. Tunatafuta nini kwenye mausiano, lengo la mausiano ni nini? Usinyambie ndoa, apart from that, huko ni mbali sana. Lengo la mausiano ni nini? What do you look in a man? Get to know it, I'll Okay, so um, mimi what I need from a man ni company. I think it's ndo kikubwa. Then um hapo ndo kuja vitu vingine. Um yeah, ndo kama ulivyosema ndo ni it's a very big step. Mambo yako mbele 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 kabisa. Lakini to begin with, Evo, you just need company, someone to talk to, someone who will listen to you. Yeah, that's why I look for. All right, great, great. Now, back at wewe mimi ningependa kujua una, una unaangalia nini kwa mwanamke kabla ya kujua lengo lako la mahusiano unaangalia nini kwa mwanamke ili awe girlfriend wako mchumba wako unaangalia nini kwake nataka mwanamke ambaye anaweza kunipa furaha mm-hmm. yani nataka mwanamke ambaye ninapotoka pengine naenda kazini na porudi hata kama na matatizo yangu basi aweze kunibadilisha kuwa katika hali nyingine I mean, maana yake chumba eh, yani chumba ya yeah, 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 yeah. kwamba atakupa furaha haujajua kwamba how long utataka kwenye relationship haujajua kwamba hata mnaweza mkamaliza wiki yani pap umemuona mm. unataka awe mchumba wako unaangalia nini features gani bana mimi naangalia vitu fulani tafadhali mm. <laughs> 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 Kwanza mimi naangalia muonekano wa mwanamke mwenyewe. Napenda mwanamke ambaye anaonekana kwa heshima. Okay. Yeah. Napenda mwanamke ambaye anaonekana kwa heshima hata mtu akimuona anajua kabisa ya. Kwa heshima unamaanisha hawa suruali kama nini? Kuanzia mavazi. Kuanzia mavazi na hata suruali unajua kuna mwanamke mwingine ukimwangalia macho yake kama kama bundi hivi. Mwanamke anaonekana kwa heshima like the bila shaka. Okay. Bwana Drake's Drake's chance. Eh unaangalia nini kwa mwanamke na lengo lako la mahusiano? Baada ya kuwa umeshaangalia kila kitu kwa ule mwanamke sasa bana mimi nataka shape au unatafuta nini kwenye mahusiano? Okay, kwenye mahusiano mimi kiukweli natafuta vitu vitatu tu. Kutoka kwa mwanamke. Commitment. She has to be feminine and she has to be loyal to me, to me and me only. Wait. Feminine. I thought tunachukia hiyo feminism. Okay, iko hivi. Feminism haibe ni it's a word that came after feminine. Kwanza kwa faida ya watazamaji hawajui labda mwingine hajui feminine feminism what is that? Ah okay feminine ni jinsi mwanaume anavotakiwa anani mwanamke anavotakiwa kuwa submissive and nice. Tuombe Kiswahili fasaha tu haiba ya kiki. What? Okay. Yaani mwanamke mwenye haiba ya kike. Yes. Okay. Mwenye haiba ya kike. What, what I mean by this is this. Unajua kuna only two things duniani kwa binadamu. Kuna masculinity na femininity. Femininity is for women. Masculinity is for men. Means men are more competitive, more aggressive, 
na na kiwa bo yani wana ile semeje ya aggressiveness in in them ya no nipata wanawake where as they are, they are loving the, as we see them a feminine woman is loving is kind she's in touch with her feelings that brings balance to the relationship no nipata sisi men generally hatuko in touch with our feelings we are more likely to hold things umo yani tuna ile kitu ya ku hold kitu hivi kama kulia tutalia huko ila sio hivi ila kwa wanawake they have these things of understanding feelings and how to convey them na hicho kitu ndo kinaleta balance katika relationship initially after seeing the other things that's what i want to know then for the first time simesema ni shauna kila kitu ambacho nilikuwa na vitaka nao nipo kwenye relationship is that it upo kwenye relationship hivyo ndo unapoangalia for the first time i any loswali lina ibu fupi sana kwa wanaume wote and i can speak for wanaume wote sisi tunapomuona mwanamke pap the first thing inabidi awe mzuri attractive oh the end mzuri uzuri ni nini kwa sababu kila mtu you can speak for all men mm. kwa sababu kila mtu ana namna yake anavyotafsiri uzuri mm. kuna mwingine atapenda machonga kama ya kichina mm. yeah, that's, that's kuna mwingine atapenda labda shape Duman, kuna mwingine shape usijataja macho nimesema awe mzuri which means whatever he defines as beautiful and he sees in that woman ndio hicho hicho anakifuata na kisha ona tu pap ndio hicho anakifuata huyu akidefine kuwa mzigo mkubwa ndo anachotaka anafuata mimi kidefine kuwa okay girl kwa hivi ndo anafuata huyu okay. yani that's how it is kwao kimsingi ni uzuri ni uzuri but it is subjective to however the guy okay so prince what do you look in a woman unaangalia nini kwa mwanamke kabla hata ya kuwa naye na mahusiano naye alafu kisha na jebo hilo utaniambia pia wewe unatafuta nini kwenye mahusiano okay uh, first impression cha kwanza lazima niangalie uzuri well ame define kwamba kila mtu ana aina yake uzuri mimi nikiona mtu yani ile mara ya kwanza the way she smile the way ana macho mazuri unajua uh, kuna mwana falsafa alisema uzuri kwa mwanamke unakaa kwenye macho yake okay. na tabasamu lake yani vile atakuangalia na kutabasamu mm. anaweza akakukaribisha anakwambia karibu karibu okay sijakwambia uniangalie ili unikaribishe oh come on <laughs> okay maana okay. unaweza kutamani uniangalie unikaribishe okay. no so vile ambavyo anaonekana alafu baada ya hapo ili anivute kwenda kwenye mahusiano sasa ndo kuna vitu naanza kuangalia vitu vingine mm. mimi na naangaliaga sana tabia yake ya ndani mm. yani the way upendo wake kwa watu no kwa Mungu na kwa watu. Mhm. Deni anaweza akawa mvumilivu. Mhm. Anasubu. Utajuaje kama anaweza kuwa mvumilivu? Uwezi kuingia kwenye mahusiano na mtu bila ku, kuwa umepata taarifa mbili tatu za kwake. Black like, mmeona for, for two weeks, three weeks, a week unajua tu kabisa wewe ni mvumilivu well, au una, una, unachukua CV yake unaanza kuuliza kwa majirani. I guess uh, kitu kimoja ni kwamba nina tabia ya kuona kwamba Uh, urafiki ndo unakuja ba, no yani uh, tunaanza urafiki alafu ndo tunakuja kwenye mahusiano so mkiwa marafiki utajuaje kama ni mvumilivu obvious lazima ujue ukiwa you're not her boyfriend yet ukiwa karibu na mtu lazima utajua tabia ijifichi i mean we are friends lakini unajua kama mimi ni mvumilivu i know you i know you Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, you go, obviously uh, ukikana mtu ukikana mtu yani tabia zangu mimi ukikana mimi sana lazima utanifahamu okay. siwezi nikaficha tabia zangu maisha yangu okay. yani lazima utazidiwa kwa namna moja so utajua okay kwa kwenye mahusiano um, mahusiano koko ni nini lengo lako la mahusiano ni nini maisha mahusiano ni maisha Uh, ni gumu sana uh, kitu yani kidole kimoja kidole kimoja mm-hmm. kikabeba ndoo ila mkono wote ambao unaunganisha vidole unaweza it's like uh, unaendesha baskeli ina tairi moja ni wachache sana wanaweza kufanya hivyo lakini baskeli yenye matairi mawili utaweza kuona kwa jicho moja utaona baadhi ya vitu lakini ukiwa na macho mawili utaona kwa upana mrefu sana. Fact. So kwenye okay. kwenye kwenye mahusiano maisha yani ukishakuwa na mtu uh, kwa 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 kiimani 
wanasema alitoka ubavuni mm. kwa ubavu si ndio mm. kwa hiyo ili iwe completion yani mimi hapa mm. nilipo peke yangu bado sijakamilika mimi ni nusu kwa hiyo kuna nusu yangu ili niwe nimekamilika lazima ile nusu yangu ije that's ndio inakuja mahusi yangu okay yeah. okay so aisha mahusi yangu kwa kwa nini ah, okay so the question was what i want in a relationship right mm -hmm. Hi. Mimi I just want to be happy. I just want mtu ambaye someone to 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 emotionally be there for me. Like hata kama yani without without kujali kwamba sijui kesho tutamkaje, miezi sita mbele tutakuwa wote without kujali hayo mambo. Ila tu are you here now? Are you emotionally connected to me right now? Yani hicho ndio ambacho mimi kitanifanya nikawa kama uhusiano au nikataka mahusiano. Okay. God fearing. Sisi skim to take some God fearing or something like that. Oh, really some of you. So you are into bad boy style, you are into bad girl style. So what about you? Ah, okay. Um me kwa mwanaume naangalia actually connection yake mahusiano yake na Mungu. Anasali. Okay, that's good. That's Anasali, anamuomba Mungu kwa sababu you know mwanaume anayeomba ni rahisi sana kukuongoza vizuri kukuguide hata kama mkiwa unapitia challenge kiasi gani haiwi rahisi kuachana au kuwa na conflict mbaya sana katika yenu kwa sababu Uh, at bad times kila mtu atakumbuka kupiga goti na kuomba Mungu. At good times kila mtu atakumbuka kupiga goti na kuomba Mungu. So, mwanaume anayesali he's a good man. So, yeah. sure. Here's the thing ambapo nitaita sisi kwamba that initial stage mwanaume anafuata because it's a fact mwanaume anafuata. Anapofuata. No, wanawake pia wanafuata, you know. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I know but it's very rare exceptions don't make the rules. Angalia So unapo kufuata pale like this lady huyu hapa sana anaanza kumwaga madini eh kakumba na ama si what me kwanza sababu yeye mna kuoga na si what makes you give him your number and what makes you keep answering his calls and what makes you how do you feel to accept the date remind me how did you get my number How did you get my name? How did you? I'm in the group, I guess. Okay, okay. Well, I don't give my number to Andrew Higgins, you know. Ugly! Oh, shit! So, I mean, if you have my number... Yes, so, okay. If you have my number, then... Sorry, my niggas are this one. Ah, 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 ah. No, check this out, check this out. Okay. Uh, seriously, seriously. Yeah. Like, I'm a kufata. This video, yeah. I'm a kufata. I'm a kufata. What makes you say, yo, okay? Cool. He has to be yo. smart. Okay. Like, very smart. The way he talks to you. The way he dresses. Okay. Dressed code, like, kapangilia, mipangilio, plani, like, okay, uyu nezo ni kaungtozana, and I can go with him anywhere. Right. Probably. <coughs> Then, the way he talks. Eno unajua ile sio mtu ule oya vipi mwanangu ule no 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 come on i have a lot of you to do that not you too. yeah so i want him to be a gentleman yani vile tu anapoku treat like a gentleman he talks to you kindly ana nidhamu hicho ndio tutakachokufanya uendelee kuongea naye yeah if he's kind a gentleman and handsome of course yani that's a key point you have to be handsome you know afu kuna ile kitu watu wanachekana so mimi napita na you seriously dating him dreads i i don't care kama tuko emotionally emotionally um, connected lakini like, unajua kuna vitu vinakata tu kwamba siwezi nikae mu introduce au na mu introduce afu mtu asimama wewe msimoni hivi ama jali huyo ndiogeze kitu so anataka ajitambulishe mwenyewe mtu akikwambia sasa wow so this is your man na stage ya mwisho nini kitakufanya sasa useme okay nakubali kwenda naye date and from here on As I said, a gentleman. I want a gentleman. A man and by he treats me nice. A man and by you are connected and close to me. Unajua unaweza ukawa na mtu and yet you are alone. A man and by you are close to you. Yani ukiwa na you feel like you have a man. You feel secure. Yani evil. You don't like anything. No. Yeah, you have a question. 
So kama siku hiyo mtu anakufata alafu hayuko smart. Anakufata siku hiyo anakuomba namba, alafu hayuko smart. Like uh, haja dress well, haja vaa vizuri, labda ametoka zake kwenye uh, <laughs> mambo yake ni ni shughuli zake ambazo hazijampa muda huo uhuru wa kuwa hiyo smart ambayo unaongelea wewe well dressed looking good inakuwaje what is keeping you from being smart mimi nimetoa mfano nimesema mimi nimesema kazi kwenye yuko kwenye shughuli zake yeah unaona tu eh huyu ya garage yeye alikuwa anapiga ile alikuwa anafanya hayuko smart hivyo unavyosema wewe is he a gentleman though Okay, so ile smartism yeah that's not the only thing you okay. have to be smart okay. you have to be politely and kind you have to be a gentleman ah uh, umesema you know the guy ambaye ako na quality and you are man so yes my man my yeah, man that's good by the way mimi na hisi wote tunaweza kwa leo tarudia moto kushow unajua uh, kuamua kumuonyesha mtu vitu vyote lazima uwe umemkubali you know that mm. yani sio kwamba all men are gentle kwa watu wao mm, yeah. really yeah what about wale ambao wanapiga wake zao wanapiga girlfriend zao abusive wagonjwa ile ni tatizo la akili wagonjwa yeah hapa yeah. <laughs> tatizo la akili so yani uwezi ukawa mzima no yani kumpiga tu mwanadamu hana kosa hana nini hata hasira yako iruke vipi uwezi ukawa mtu mzima alafu ukafanya hivyo come on man like unajua you're my boyfriend okay. sawa okay Tumekwazana tu kwenda nafu nakwambia kama wewe mwanaume niguse. Afu na mimi nikakupiga? Mimi yeah. sina akili. Show me you if you're a man. No, 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 sawa sawa every time a woman talks alafu ndao wanapiga wanaume wanawake imagine imagine tupo nyumba ya kupanga sawa and a bishop lenga kama wewe mwanaume nipige mwanaume suluhali naondoka naondoka but you ngumu mazia kwa ulianza problem si ndio hivyo yani una sababu ya kuendelea kufika mpaka ifikie mahali ya unaondoka mpaka ifikie hapo ukitembelea katika familia tuseme labda 20 familia mbili au tatu au nne wanaume wengi yeah i mean mbili tatu au nne wanaume ni abuse that's another kama topic mke, domestic violence unajua kwa nini basi ni kwa watoto unajua kwa nini tunasema ugonjwa wa akili uh, ukiwa toka unakuwa mdogo hujawahi kumuona baba yako anamuinulia mkono mama yako haiwezi kukuaffect lakini ukishakuwa unaona baba yako anamuinulia mkono mama yako au majirani huyu baba anampiga yule mama ile kitu ina, inaenda inaharibu akili okay kwa inaenda inakuathiri kwa okay kupiga kumpiga mwanamke ni sawa la kawaida umeona kwa hata wewe siku kina ni nani tayari ushaathirika kina ni kiakili unampiga so hiyo ni ugonjwa wa akili so back to the initial topic here is what i have to say angalia okay 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 i'm going to say a statement in a no you you okay angalia Yes, women, yes, 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 yes. Women want a man that is better than them. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Is it a fact? Yeah, it it's is. fact. I mean financially, mm. I mean physically, mm. yeah. yeah, strength, right? Mm -hmm. So do we all agree that a man has to be a leader in the house? A man is the leader, the woman second to him. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a fact? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It awesome. is it is a fact. Though kuna wanawake ambao um, wanaona like kuwa submissive ina kama inawashusha like yes. mimi namaliza hivi. Ili uingie kwenye mahusiano na mahusiano yao 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 ya mazuri. Ni lazima utulize akili yako kwanza kabla hujaingia kwenye mahusiano. Okay. Tabia za kupenda penda kama kuku ndio zinasababisha <laughs> <laughs> 
Bado nisababisha. Bado nisababisha tunalia kila siku. Mkishakuwa kwenye mahusiano, mkishakuwa mnaheshimiana, mnasikilizana. Maana yake ni kwamba na upendo utakuwepo ndani yake. Kila kitu kitakwenda sawa. Lakini tabia za za kujiona mimi ni nani, mimi nikisema nimesema, hiyo haipo. Na sisi wanaume tuwatengeneze hawa wachumba zetu. Sisi tuna uwezo kwa kuongea nao usichop kuna mtu mwingine akimwambia nini mchumba wake leo bwana mimi sitaki kesho akarudia naachana naye alichokuwa anakizungumza hii kuna kuna mtu ambaye amekuwa na tabia yake kubadilisha inakuwa ni ngumu lakini nabadilishika angalia anakuheshimu anakusikiliza anakujali vitu vingine vidogo vidogo rekebisha neni akili Okay, on my side I think kwanza unapoingia kwenye mahusiano unapokuwa na future unatafuta mahusiano kwa ajili ya ndoa na kufanya maisha ya love time partner kama mwanamke before anything else unatakiwa uwe submissive uwe ready kuongozwa uwe tayari kuwa chini ya mtu usiwe na bado na mamlaka yako na misingi yako na vitu vyako unavoanza mahusiano unaingia katika ukurasa mwingine ambao kutokana na venye unaenda unaweza kukupelekea kupata ndoa na lifetime partner this is the salt topic ya leo ilikuwa nzuri sana i hope you guys mmejifunza katika namna moja au nyingine Natakiwa kusubscribe na kutano notification na kulike na kukoment kushare link and everything in ready kipindi kijacho usikikose by any means this is Bursakelo TV unaweza ukatufollow kwenye social media zetu zote Instagram Twitter and Facebook as Bursakelo TV my name is Fanny Franco you can follow me on my Instagram account as Fanny Franco this is Drix Charms you can follow him as Drix Charms Princely Becca and Aisha Hassan we get a bounce until next time stay blessed so kabla tujaondoka kwenye mahusiano waga mnatumia akili au moyo kufanya maamuzi okay <laughs> <laughs> bye bye